Hello and welcome to the Heat Signature Daily Challenge. It is the 13th of May and today we are killing the three sovereign officers responsible for my husband's death while killing as few other people as possible. We are Technophobe, Ex-Sovereign, we got a con camera, a few crash beams, and three slipstreams. Getting a lot of limited slipstreams lately. Also got an off-world angel. That just makes it a little easier to get off the ship. And let's go. All right, basic guards, just got a heat sensor, light reinforcements. That's, that's the like the smallest mission details I've seen on a daily mission in a while. Literally just the alarm response. Huh. All right, so it shouldn't be anything crazy. We've got a con camera. We can deal with non-lethal stuff. That's all good. Talking right in the middle. It would usually be a good time to have a visitor. Most of the time you can visit right into the steel area. Ooh, that was close to three. All right. Oh, this isn't a steel. This is a lot larger ship than I thought it was. All right. Why did I think it was going to be a steel mission? That's weird. So we've got a crate over here, but it's a fair bit out of the way. Oh, this is one of those odd ones where level three key is here, and then the level twos are both on each side, and then there's another level three over here. Is there one over here as well? There's one over here as well. Real weird. We don't even need that key, we just need this key, and then we get to the final area. Maybe we'll go for that crate? Let's see, how far is that? So, one, two, three, four, five. One, six, seven, eight, nine. Versus this one would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, they're both about the same. We'll see what we get from the target. <clears throat> Could steal that key, but I can also just take this one and get some extra guns and stuff. Smack. Give you a shot. Um, deactivate this. I want the key more than I want that gun. I don't care about the alarm, right? Yeah, I don't care about the alarm. Get up here. And now we'll take another gun. Give you a shot. Give you not a bash so that we can throw this instead. And I'll shoot you just for safety. Okay. Let's walk up here a bit. Get the pod moving just a bit. I guess I didn't need to do that. But it's fine. So, let's try and get in range of the target. We do need to manually kill them, because every... I... why am I... I forgot about the slipstream. Oh, well. <laughs> I was distracted by my confusion over the not being a steel mission. What is going on with me? Yeah, well... This is a... Decent one, I suppose, to not have it. Ooh, a shotgun. A super shotgun at that. So then... Oh, I need to kill you. Pick you up. Uh, why can't I drop you? Oh, wait, do I normally throw it? I normally throw them. Okay. Kill you. So, if I was worried about saving a lot of time, you know, if we didn't have the, like, bash dash and stuff, it would definitely be worth it to go down here so we can shoot out the fuel barrel and then get the crate and then have a quick way off. Do we actually need that?
Yeah, I'm gonna get the crate. I like things. And sure, let's shoot it out. Ooh, it's loud as well. I really like the loud, chunky sound. Get this moving down here. Grab the crate. Subverter, that's nice. Sure, let's pick up a gun. And just get this ready. Alright, we need to be careful so that we don't pull us back into either of these sections. That should be good. Alright. Yeah, that cost us a couple extra seconds. Oh, we got a subverter. That's pretty good. It's too bad it's not rechargeable, but we've at least got three uses. So that leaves enough uses for both subverting locked doors and uh, subverting telepads if it's target fleas. Which it is target fleas. All right. We've even got a loud weapon now, so we can easily trick, track, trap, trip, trip. Do something with the alarm. I don't know how... You can use an alarm as a trap. I don't know how you would trick or trap alarm itself. Uh, target flee, so it's not orbiting things. All right. Little chunky on the frames there. Jeez, that was five seconds. Huh. All right. Well, let's. Yeah, we've got items, but it's fine. Oh, I don't even have to go out for this telepad. Nice. All right. So let's dash in. Give a nice shot. We'll set off the alarm in multiple ways. We've got sounds and we've got explosions and breaking stuff and all that good stuff. <laughs> I was a little worried there that if I hadn't paid attention, there's a. If this wasn't connected, then I would have just blocked off the telepad completely and not allowed the target to escape, which would have been a bit of an oversight. Alright, telepad hacked. Dash back in, and then we'll zoom out, get aligned, and then start heading back. Alright, target is heading for the escape pad, and we need to assassinate them, not catch them. Perfect. Okay, got those random kits, but target fleas, so it does not matter. Actually, it does matter. Uh, I need to make sure that I don't uh, shoot anyone with glitch dash. That's a pretty big matter. Okay, we got a dock on this really thin part of it. Double check its angle because it was turning right when it spawned. Yeah, I don't like I don't like that approach at all. Really. There's no place to bounce off of. It's right next to that station as well. Alright, that worked out. Okay, so we do have glitch dashers, but they can't Okay, that they're out of uh range anyways that's good and then even if they weren't oh, they would teleport right here there's potentially maybe possibly a chance if they're in the wrong spot that they could get pulled out when i undock but we don't have to worry about that can we subvert the telepad from outside the ship technically yes if we hop out and then we can use the angel to bring us back But uh, let's see, let's get this lined up. And I'm gonna try, yeah, that's, that's annoying to try and get through. Yeah, I'll try and go up, go around here. All right, didn't make it, that's fine. Target is escaping. 
telepad is right here. Let's hop out, super shotgun ourselves this way. And then... Uh, da, da. All right, telepad hacked. Uh, targets escaping. Pod remoted and activated. And then remember to not use F until we've been caught ourselves. All right. Amazingly, <laughs> we had a day where we were given three whole slipstreams and we did not use one of them. Part of that is my bad. And we got a 599 still as well. Uh, most of that is my bad. <laughs> Just from not using it on ship one. And that definitely costs probably at least a second or two. But hey, we still did good. Nice, nice, nice. All right. That was a nice and quick one as well. All right, let's look at yesterday's. Oh, look at that chunk. Oh, man. It's not happy. Look at look at the frame rate on this mouse. Oh, boy. I can't even tell that I'm just going in a circle right here. <laughs> okay. Yesterday, though, came in first with a 599 as well. And we have Archer 10 in second, Snelg in third, Zazaza in fourth, and JPEG Dog in fifth. Good job, everybody, for the top five placements. All right. Yeah, that was a very nice and quick one today. Uh, a couple of... Uh, going for that subverter did really save a lot of time in the end. That was really nice. And then the other, the big time loss would have been the dock on ship two. Still not sure how that was five seconds, but oh well. All right, that is all for today. Thank you for watching this, and I hope to see you tomorrow.